that's the world we're in now. It is kind of surreal in a way. Like Star Wars used to be the thing in my life. It was the biggest. I it's the thing I fantasized most about and daydreamed about. You know, as many young kids do. And now it's like, man, fuck it. I don't give a shit. It, it was like it used to be the one thing you could count on for being entertaining, even yeah. even if you know good or bad, you, you could at least count on it being fun. But now now it's not even that. Now I'm I expect to watch them and just be annoyed and pissed off or frustrated. You can't expect quality from it anymore. No, no. Quality surprises you. Yeah, exactly. like, I mean, this new one, like, will be coming out of the cinema. One of the first questions that I will want to ask is like, so, did you like anything? Yeah. <laughs> like, unironically, uh, did you, you like it? it was good? Did you like anything? So was there anything that you thought was not bad? Just, yeah. let's go through the list. So what didn't you hate? <laughs> I, I, I guess see some people are like, oh, you're going into hate it then. It's like, no, 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 it's literally just a likelihood thing. Yeah. We want I it to be amazing. To dislike I it. If I could snap my fingers and have an amazing, incredible Star Wars that somehow fixes all the issues, and it's just it's not going to happen. I want oh. it to, but I, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I would much rather there be good Star Wars movies again. That's obviously my preference, but I don't <laughs> expect it. Like, yeah, it, it. I don't want them to be bad. I don't want them to be bad. I like Star Wars, but it's not. I don't yeah, like these new ones. For reference, right? If they just go, "There's a new Star Wars movie coming out," we're all, we're all gonna go, "Oof!" And they go, "It's got nothing to do with any previous storylines. It's completely new." We go, "Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay." Mm. Made by well, a director. Like a thousand years in the future. You're like, oh. Yeah, all oh. past doesn't really matter. Um, uh, and then you go, director who loves the OT. Talks about how much they love it, and you're like, okay, good. And then you go, writers who we check the the content, and they've made some good shit. And then you go, it's a project that's gotten um, plenty of time. It's relatively low budget, but the idea is that they're giving them full freedom. I'd be like, okay, this this could this could yeah, be good. Man. <laughs> Sign me up. I'm 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 ready. And like one solid trailer, and I'd be like, oh my god. I'll always be back. Could it, could we could, could this you know? And that's all it takes. It's just one movie, but. Everything is working against this film. <laughs> it's literally everything possible. No level of confidence. Just none. Like, no level of confidence. The fact alone that it's a sequel to TLJ and Force Awak Awakens is like, well, it's already very much crippled as a movie. It's like Probably basically. doomed. I mean, what can... Even if it wasn't somebody who made, you know, The Force Awakens, even if it was a totally different person who was tasked with this, I don't see how they could... Fix it. I don't see how they could fix it to a state that I would be happy with. There's just so much that's lost with this universe. How do you undo? I mean, you'd have to say, and then Ray woke up, and it was all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, that's the level that you'd have to do. If me, well, let's just say us three. We were tasked with writing uh, the conclusion to this trilogy. First of all, I'd be like, I'm going to need two films and three years at least to write it, because <laughs> this is going to yeah. be intense to have to answer all this stuff. And you know, the the parameters are: it cannot be a dream. It cannot be a you know, you wipe it all. You have to own all of it. Basically, have to tell a story where all of the original heroes are gone, and we've got all these new heroes who've had either no development or inverse development, just completely well, ass backwards development. Genuinely, like the first thing I'd be asking you guys is like, right, let's find out what we have to fix because we've got a lot. We have to like write a big, uh, oh, like it'd this be enormous a whiteboard. Book, a book's worth, yeah. That's what I mean. Like, it's like before be we so can much. tell any kind of story, we have to fix all of the stories. We have to figure out what's broken first. <laughs> and then, fucking and then, you know, list. <laughs> the groundwork like, to allow us to continue is like its own project. It's like you're trying to construct a house in a place that you've been told is known for mudslides. And not only just mudslides, but the worst mudslides ever imaginable. Like a drop of rain and everything just collapses <laughs> and goes straight actually, to the core of the earth. I'm actually picturing like you've been provided like, you know, concrete wood, all, all the things you need, but you're literally looking at this mudslide that's active. <laughs> yeah. It's just moving. You're like, I don't, how do I start? And then they're like, someone, go. Yeah, someone hands you a spoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I think the best analogy that I could probably come up with is imagine there's a skyscraper, a massive skyscraper, and your job is to build a massive skyscraper where that one is. Half of my job is getting rid of this old one. Oh, yeah, the old one's like <laughs> this rickety, rusted mess, and you're like, ugh. 
my it's job. like a check and block, isn't it? You know, you take one thing out, the whole thing collapses. Yeah, and they're, they're looking at you like, hey, you're supposed to build on top of it. And you're like, I'm building on top of that fucking thing. Like, no, I'm <laughs> safely <laughs> demolishing this safely in the most demolish. ethical way possible. Your option is to safely demolish it and redo it again, or keep building on top and risk having the whole thing collapse onto some other buildings and just destroying think... the entire block. Well, this, that's that's why it's so apt. Is like collapse is inevitable. It already has collapsed several times. It just keeps <laughs> falling like to another degree. <laughs> like they just keep pulling bodies out of the out, out, <laughs> off the floors. Like they're B and E's, and people just get crushed inside. Homeless people, people go inside to sleep, and they just die. <laughs> and they never come back out. It's death it's trap like, for homeless people. You know, like you, you got the you got the characters of Star Wars on the set doing the constructions. Like, who got killed today? Oh, it's Han. You should have seen it. He just got crushed by a girder. It was horrible. And then it's like, as soon as they're saying that, another thing just collapses. It's like, like oh, oh no. fuck. And it was funny. <laughs> We say this so arbitrarily and someone's like, it's not that bad. It's like, they're not like they just randomly yes. kill characters and then you just show what happens to Akbar. They're like, oh. <laughs> I was like, remember that one scene where they just kill Akbar? Flush him out the without, ship. Without a fucking word, they're just like, yeah, Akbar's just, fuck that guy. He's, he's, can, he's can gone, imagine? he's dead. You'd, you you'd almost that? miss it. You I did miss it. I it wasn't was actually. If you watch my TLJ rage, I don't think I mentioned it. And people were like, why didn't you? And I was like, fucking hell, Akbar's dead? I was like, I didn't there was, realize. There was, a, there was a character who said a line, and my a reaction in the cinema was, what, what, what? Like, wait, what? I just, I couldn't believe it. They just kill him off like that. They don't care. Could you imagine if you were making, like, a, uh, imagine if there was World War Three, right? You got all the big players, you know, in a, I don't know, in a battleship or something. So you got, like, Eisenhower and, uh, and Churchill and stuff there, and then the boat just sinks. And then, like, you know, a couple of days later, they're like, oh, you know, Churchill, Eisenhower, yeah, they're just gone, whatever. Hey, he, all right, here's, uh, here's uh, McCarthy coming in to help us out, you know. Leave the tactician. It's... Mm, <laughs> I like how we haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. My prediction is Ray is going to be set up to be, like, the chosen one some sort of prophesized super rebalancer, slate wiper, that sort of thing. I feel like you might be right, and that would be really bad. <laughs> that, would, that would be really bad. What if they do with Ray what we expect, what Luke did in like the extended universe, where he really does build a temple, and he really does get married to some chick, and they have force babies, and they rebuild the Jedi Order and stuff like that? The thing is, is it seems like the whole point of this series is, oh, well, the Jedi and the Sith, it's all bullshit. That seems to be what the, the direction that they're going, which... I've not really got specific ideas, I'm just thinking, like, so this is the last film, so this trailer should probably be filled with a bunch of, like, lofty dialogue and uh, little stops in the trailer to say, like, this is this is the end, this is it, this is the ultimate thing. Yeah, you know, like, battles. basically what the Endgame trailers <laughs> were doing, but Endgame was obviously, like, the end... That, that was earned, because it was like a huge ending with so many characters to a degree. But this film's going to be like, this is a huge event, and we're all going to be like, oh. Okay. Oh, is, oh, it? is it? Oh, is it? Oh. I suppose that's the... Email about... the, the marketing shtick for this one seems to be that this is the end of the Skywalker saga, which is like a retconned all nine of these episodes, this is meant to be what it was leading to. I mean, we know that's not true because the original <laughs> trilogy was a trilogy that ended and the, the prequel trilogy wasn't even meant to exist. The only one that was meant to exist was the original trilogy. Well, I mean, so I don't, I don't it believe goes even this. further than that, doesn't it? it? Wasn't A New Hope the only one that was actually intended? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It was, and then, in but, fairness, because like, you know, George had plans for his his past and future trilogies too. What you can be conclusive on is that this was never planned. The fucking Disney no. sequels were never planned. I'm actually speaking for like the matter of the whole story, but I'm also speaking for how they fucking designed this trilogy. They didn't plan this. <laughs> this is just something well, they came up this, with. I think what I found most baffling is when they, the interviews that they gave a few years ago, where they said, we, we haven't planned the whole thing out. And that's it. How do you write a trilogy without knowing where you're going? How do you say that and don't stop yourself and be like, oh, wait, we should do that? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm stuck all the way back at, like, you'd think if JJ was passionately on board that you'd want to be like, this is, do I get the three? Do I get a hand in the three? Yeah, if I was passionate about it and they said, no, you only get one, I'm like, oh, 
Oh, yeah, because that's all not right, tempting. Right, uh, yes. Money-wise, sure, but... I mean, it would suck like, to write. The creative aspect is like if I love if I was a huge fan of Star Wars and I love Star Wars, I'd want a trilogy. If you wanted to make it the way that it's supposed to be, then you would want to be in. What kind of odd way of structuring? At least the way they were originally going to do yeah. it, where one guy sets up the groundwork and leaves a whole bunch of questions, passes it on to the next guy, who then says, "Nah, fuck all that. I'm going to do whatever I want." And then there was meant to be a third guy, Colin Trevorrow, to come in at the end to wrap it up. What a what a strange way to make a Very series odd. of films. Yeah, I that thought so I think odd. they thought that you could just do whatever, and it's Star Wars, so it like it just doesn't matter. But how how, did, how does Disney do this when they're also in charge of the MCU, and the MCU wasn't made this way? Well, you have lots of writers <laughs> throughout the MCU, right? The most unifying oh, sure. element you have, is the fact that the Russo. And hand, you, you do have as well in the OT. Uh, there's a different director for each film, but it, there is yes, George Lucas is throughout involved. them. That's the thing. There, there, there's always a guiding hand. It's like there's it's the same like a, team. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It, it never and feels like that. There, there is a unifying vision. Is the, the important part, right? Because technically speaking, they could have been lucky and hired three different writer directors and actually made three amazing films. That could have happened. Could have. Yeah. Brian Johnson clearly wanted to make his own movie. That's all that was. Like, I'm making my movie. It's like, oh, you're, you're making a Star Wars film. And he's like, what? No, no, I'm making my I'm thing. Make, I'm making a movie. A Ryan Johnson movie. I'm making a movie like about this. an old man who finds his way back to redeeming himself from, from into actions that no one understands. I'm gonna have this girl fall in love with this guy for no reason. Or well, not really. She touches fingers. Um... Who killed her dad? <laughs> this, 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 it. She touches fingers with him. That's as far as I've got myself. So I assume <laughs> yeah. that there's no more after that. Well, if you remember, I'm looking. I'm going to see if there's any hints of Raylo in this. And remember, Major Lee's going to be very oh, upset no. if there isn't. That's the one thing he's looking forward to in Episode Nine was seeing these two connect with each other. Oh my god! <laughs> this... I don't. I think he's going to be disappointed. <laughs> I think so too. I think Kylo's going to be the the final bad guy who will either die or uh, as a bad guy or die. Doing something redemptive. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's either gonna die, but I think what they might do instead is he, like, loses, but he has some thing, and he flee, he, and he goes off to find his own way in the galaxy, or he breaks free, the, the, this is the trail, I'm not saying it's gonna make sense, I'm just, just what they're gonna try <laughs> to do. At the very end, he sort of helps, um, Ray defeat Super Palpatine Ghost, or whatever, and Ugh. so he it's like he turns just like Darth Vader did. And so then after that, because he doesn't die, he goes off into the galaxy and maybe they have. Oh, what if they have Kylo start the new Jedi Order? Instead oh! of, they have Kylo be the one who begins the new oh! Jedi Temple. No, I think, he's I the think one who gonna, destroyed I, the I temple, but he learned his lesson and now he's going to do it the right way this time. I think they're going to nope. give him like a soft redemption arc where he helps but still dies. That's Maybe. what I think they're gonna do. Um, yeah. as opposed to like a proper redemption arc where even I, though Darth Vader dies, he does I think, take, you know, come in. I think they will see that as being even they will think that's way too close to Darth Vader. So even they yeah, I don't it's think JJ do though. That. It is JJ. It is JJ. I don't, I don't think they care, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, they don't care. I don't give a shit. Now that we have our, our theories and now that we've all put our fears out there. Chips in the pot and we're ready to Hey, who knows? This trailer could be really good. This could be a great trailer, guys. Yeah, this could be great. <laughs> sure. I'm, yeah, I'm I think excited. Great. Here You're we just go. Biased, and you want to? You just want to hate <laughs> stuff. Y'all just want a toxic fandom, toxic brood. I hate it. It's so this is. Uh, we didn't actually comment on this the last time we watched one of the trailers. This has got to be getting trained, right? By Leia. On by some, Leia? By distant, some distant planet, and it's just like, oh, guys, 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 this is supposed to be in the first film, you fucked up the order. Training for what? She's beaten Kylo, like, twice. Both in the force <laughs> so and with a lightsaber, but hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When's your lightsaber out? Oh, wait, that was, that was Luke's lightsaber, right? So she, I guess she's fixed it. Well, I mean, she probably fixed it because of the fucking books she had. It, it has how to fix a lightsaber in Chapter 6. Yeah. In case of lightsaber fucking... 
bisection. Here's how you <laughs> here's how you find a new crystal. In fairness, that happens a lot These... in the prequels. Loads of lightsabers get cut in half. Yeah, but there they have like replacement crystals and a whole temple and they no, probably have a I whole mean, I'm just saying wing. I'm actually commenting on the validity that there would be a chapter called In Case of Bi Lightsaber Bisection. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh jeez. Well Oh, that's um that's uh Mary. Lord of the Rings as well. He's in this. Dominic something, I forget his name, but um Monaghan. Oh okay. That's it, yeah. And uh we've got got Rose who we've heard don't know if this is true, it was like that weird screenshot, but she's like a commander of some kind. Engineer commander. Man, that's uh that's that's quite a leap in rank. Oh well, I mean I know. in fairness, she did she did endanger everyone's lives, so Well, it seems to be a tradition with commanders in this army, so yeah, like the more yeah, people you try you, and murder, you, know, you get promoted to commander by yeah. running, ramming your car into like another person's car and <laughs> knocking them off the road as your own allies. People keep telling me they know me. Nobody knows who the fuck you are or anything about you. And this is the third movie in a trilogy, and we're still asking, "Who are you? Why are <laughs> that, you here?" That green, that green screen is very distracting. Dude, I can't be the only one. That pristine like, really... white outfit. Because she's a full good guy now. In the first yeah. one, she was wearing like a beige. Second film, they went kind of darkish, yeah. and now they're going full light because she's a good. As if she's had some Symbolism. kind of story. What nonsense! She has grown so much. <laughs> she's come such a long way. I mean, also, uh, I I didn't think they'd do this, but yeah, you, we've got like lofty comments from all of the three main characters, I guess. Which is like, oh yes, because we know them so well. It doesn't mean much to me. No. This doesn't mean much to me. I don't care what they think because they don't mean much. Like, oh wow. Yeah, I don't respect oh, anybody. What do you think of how everything's doing? He's like, it's not great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, how'd that happen, guys? You won last time, <laughs> and then you just let all of this get ruined in, like, a couple of days. How come he's all wet? Oh, my God. Look <laughs> oh, he looks so pathetic. <laughs> he's all wet, and he picked an excellent place to pause. <laughs> this is John the Baptist. <laughs> he's got his staff. He's about to baptize Ray in the, in, in the, the holy, salty water of whatever <laughs> planet this is, Yavin 4 or something. I don't know. You told me so, these two are gonna battle again. Like I, I was just, I was just like, but didn't we do? That? Okay, I'm just picturing it now. Like he's gonna lose because how the fuck could Ray possibly lose? We'll be talking about how the villain of the trilogy just lost three times in a row. Remember how Darth Vader was imposing from the first time you saw him? He commanded respect and he dominated the scenes he was in. Yeah, he's he's he one didn't of those have villains. to say a lot. He has to walk in the room and you're already like, oh fuck. And you're like, oh shit. I know how Rogue One down. banked on that hardcore. <laughs> I know, Rogue One, that's the thing. I don't Rogue One wasn't great, but man, they didn't fuck anything up. Yeah, from what I you know, they would have fucked up their own shit to a degree with like the characters and stuff and their own plot. There's a bit of tism there, but most fans felt that that Vader was doing Vader things. Yeah, Vader he was just he was just killing rebels because that stuff Vader does. He didn't have like any lines because if God knows if he had any lines, he would have said shit like, "Oh, I I actually think that." Luke was right all along, and I don't know <laughs> stuff. Imagine Rogue One, he was like, you know, I feel like I have a son out there that I, I probably very nice. That's I am nice. conflicted. I I'm don't very know conflicted. what I did. I am sad. I am sad. <laughs> <laughs> he does actually have lines in Rogue One. I remember there was a big debate going on because, do you remember he says, um, don't choke on your aspirations? Yeah, that's quite funny, Don't, isn't choke, it? And, and, don't well, choke on your own ambition. Uh, and people were like, oh, stupid, Vader wouldn't say that. He's got like yes, loads, he would. he's got loads of putty lines. Vader's got yeah, loads of Actually, he yeah. would, he would actually say that. And he doesn't he's like a deliver it. Machine. He doesn't, he doesn't deliver it in like a punny way. I oh, like usually... how we're supposed to watch a trailer and we're talking about Rogue One. <laughs> we're just but... talking about Rogue One, now they're talking about the OT, because I want to say like, when, he, when he's, he says it in a very sinister way, when he's like, um, apology accepted. And he's dead. Yeah. It's just like, oof, nice. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got this guy. Look at that vista. Okay. Like a... Oh wait, it's not a reflection. Because it Is doesn't that just match. in space? Yeah, I guess it's maybe a it's... comet or something floating around in space. It's a space iceberg. Oh god, not the space Let's titanic. See, this got it. JJ's gotta do something something that just makes people go, Oh, there's a space iceberg. There's a thing. Go watch it because there's <laughs> this. <laughs> like, okay. Long. Have I waited 
Oh no! We no. are like, uh, straight up Emperor Palpatine is gonna be <laughs> is back. Gonna Holy rise up shit. From the iceberg. Is this a star destroyer? I can't believe this is happening. When we see Palpatine in the cinema, I'm gonna be like, they actually brought him back. You cunts. <laughs> I can't believe yeah, you did this. there will be that moment where you have to accept the reality that they resurrected fucking Palpatine. <laughs> They did it! It's real! We're here! Uh, oh, what the hell? Brother. This is what it's like to chew five gum! Why is there a uh, Star Destroyer what? rising out of the grave? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's JJ using his necromancy power. That's, that's how it's works. Star behind Destroyer it. hides in ice and then just pops out! <laughs> I will rise up my skull. Oh. Uh, we might, we, we might win a pause. They're so we close to each other, holy cruises. shit. Why are they so close? Like, this They're seems dangerous. Bad, man. It is. Oh no, look in the top right, it's one of the bombers. No. <laughs> oh, it is! No. It is! Oh no. Why After though? the They're blunder of uh, whatever that battle was in The Last Dinner, they're like, yeah, we should still use these shit. Like, if one, if one laser gets through this crowd and hits that ship, how many other ships do you think are gonna get well, destroyed the thing is that... in its wake? Those are plot ships. Those are P wings, and their if their they efficacy is solely determined on whether the plot needs them to. Because remember that last ship that finally made it, it was getting pounded and thrashed and pew 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 getting hit everywhere, but nothing happened because it needed right, to be yeah. the one to blow up the ship. But the other ones yeah. pew and it's blowed up and then it's like, in them. as close to plot armor as you can get. Basically, it's like the other ones are killed by freaking debris from a small <laughs> fighter. And then the debris the other one who kills the other one. The chain reaction from blowing up any one of these, not even a bomber specifically, just any one of them. The debris hits another one, and then they're all like, whoa, and they crash into it. It's just like, guys, do you think they hyperspaced right, like, out right into each other like this? In the scene, it's gonna be like, um, pew, 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 I mean, pew. I hope not because if one person gets their calculations wrong, that's like all by literally they get. zero <laughs> point zero 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 one. It's just like, oh yeah. well, we're Captain fucked. Marble, I will guide you. Oh my god! <laughs> I can you. And I yeah, can where did it. all these guys come from? It's like, oh, they. I don't know. It's the thing I was talking about before. Like Luke's story is spread, and a bunch of planets like we want to support the resistance now. And it's like, yeah, okay, okay. I feel like Luke's story would have spread when the Empire collapsed nah, and was replaced by the New Republic. That was you a know, lame story, really. What's What's weird is that the literal destruction of five planets and billions and billions and billions of lives being snuffed out like that, that didn't get everybody on board. It was the yeah. story of a guy. Of, it was a story of a hologram <laughs> fooling a guy. Yeah, I mean, if of, of any event, you'd think that. Like five planets getting blown up would completely galvanize the galaxy against the first order, but I yeah, I guess not. I, nobody, nobody no, was like they you needed know what? to hear that about a ghost planet next. that got shot by some lasers and then disappeared because that's more inspiring. I guess. <gasps> Look, they finally gave us Poe, Finn, and Ray in a room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like how they're sort of treating this as a sort of, you know, the the fellowship coming together sort of moment, as though it's equivalent to that at all. You know, like the fellowship coming together after spending like Why 10 hours. Why is Ray apart. driving and not Poe? Yeah, Poe's the pilot. Oh, he's, he's the like best the best pilot, pilot in the galaxy. Literally the best pilot Why would you ever galaxy? ask that question? Ray has to do everything. Also, dude, what is that between them? That's the MacGuffin, surely. The Whatever that is, that's the thing that does the thing for this movie. Yeah, that seems too important to not be a MacGuffin, <laughs> isn't it? Other, otherwise, it's, it's just like blue. some weird part of the Millennium Falcon now, but that to me is like, is that the that's thing? The, that's no, the it's Chewie bypassed. Like, that's the compressor. Oh my god, it's the compressor. <laughs> if in the scene, like Chewie, he sees it's up there, he's like, oops, left that up there. We're like, oh, oh, and then hides it away, and then everybody wonders what it is and what he wants it for. And then it just becomes I an can't. ongoing mystery of Chewie's weird thing that he left out on the dashboard. <laughs> this weird Falcon. thing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's like a, I don't know, a space flashlight. That could make sense. <laughs> what are you doing there, three PO? Taking one last look, sir. What? At my friend. Uh, what? Oh, are they gonna give C three PO a fucking moment here? Did they, they remember that C three PO exists? That? Taking one last look at my friend. C three PO. Do you even friends. know Ray and Poe? Oh, I, I guess he. Like, yeah. I guess he knows Poe to what? some degree, but. I, yeah, I know he is, knows of Poe, like friends. What is friendship? Well, even the thing is, is um, this movie has a time jump. I think it's meant to be three years after the la uh, the Last Jedi. So it's like, I guess there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff we missed. <laughs> I guess, I guess, yeah, maybe that's their strategy. Oh, 
three years in the future. Imagine oh, all hey this guys. stuff. Hey guys, up people change over three years, okay? People develop. They got older. Things happen, yeah. okay? If you trap someone in a room with another guy for three years, they'd probably be friends by the this, end of it. Just all of these work. complete misfuck. They, when it comes to the characters and who should be doing what, they've gotten it wrong every time. When Han died, and then when, you know, Chewie and all that come back to the planet, Chewie's just left on his own. And Leia's, you know, comforting Ray, somebody she met one day earlier, who she doesn't know anything about and doesn't know what the relationship was between him. And then when Luke needs to find out that his best friend is dead, it cuts away and we don't get to see it. And now we've got C-3PO like, I'm going to say goodbye to my friends. It's like, your friends are like Luke and stuff, but they're gone. Well, <laughs> you can't. And the amusing thing is, it's like, they clearly, they're using that as like a meta line. It's like, oh, we're saying goodbye. To it's like, no, fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> That was happening. Fuck off. We're watching this hideous creature hobble out of a room into a volcano. <laughs> I'm just like, well, it's time uh, to die. <laughs> walking into fire is crazy. Yes, walking into fire is crazy. Confronting fear. It's what are you gonna of it. Fucking Ray crying while she's hugging Leia. K. She does. I mean, she, uh... your destiny. Oh, oh that was a Y-wing. Your destiny. Your destiny. Remember Y-Wings? <laughs> TLJ didn't. There you go, the saga will end. It's like, yeah, until someone what? else decides to staple on another fucking three what? films. So, like... They're, they're, they're on the horses. They got tusks, they got horses. That's, horse, right. space horses. Horse boars, boar horses. I, I mean, I guess they, they end up in a situation where they desperately need to travel at a higher speed than running. No, BB-8's keeping up with them, by the way. Uh, oh, um, okay. Also, I I may be wrong, but I think that they're doing this on the top of a star destroyer. Yes, must be this on is a on planet. the iceberg planet. This yeah. is on the iceberg thing. Look at the background. There's got to be some atmosphere. Well, then, you know, who cares about things making sense anymore? It would be so funny if this was in space and they just honored a star destroyer. I should be like, <laughs> yep. It would be like that sumo thing I suggested at one point. Yeah. yeah. Right up in the they're, that's room. that. They're, they're in the... F it exploded! <laughs> The yeah. whole Star Destroyer exploded, and they're just sitting here in the throne room where I just, they don't, they're just like, oh, remember this? Oh, remember this? Oh, remember yeah. this? Remember I mean, this? I gotta admit, my assumption when you watch the lot of uh, Return of the Jedi is that when the throne room, like, the, when this, when it blew up, it just basically evaporated. Like, yeah, it, it like totally deleted. Blew up. There was, yeah, maybe a little bit of debris, but not entire um, sections of the thing. I've described The Force Awakens as dangling keys. This, at this point, feels like someone beating you over the head with keys. Yeah, like, it does, doesn't fucking it? Fucking like it! Uh, You're like, I died. Uh. Also, this is Kylo and Rey here. Have they been fighting this whole time yeah, across the ocean? All the, way into the, in all the way into the throne room? This could be where they first meet, and then she, like, runs out of the room, and then he Maybe. faces her. But yeah, that's the thing. Uh, Dude, this is gonna be know, an epic there... showdown where they travel through a whole bunch of nostalgia. Fucking, they'll probably uh, walk past a, a, a corridor and it'll just have Darth Vader's suit in it. They'll, they'll, they'll be, they'll <laughs> Han Solo's body will be just laying there and they'll fucking <laughs> him. Fucking Jar Jar Binks will just be sweeping the floor. will be there, Gabba's yeah. corpse, fucking everybody will just be He's not like, uh, even talking somehow, like talking <laughs> there for some reason. Yeah, he's just at a desk <laughs> writing something. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What is happening here? See, they're working together, maybe, or are they? I guess this is during their fight that? or something. So what? What have they just done? Are we? Are we looking one, at the same thing? So like a droid or some kind of? He's got his helmet on though right now. So... They don't. They don't look like they're against each other here. They kind of look. But this looks yeah, like a totally like different place. Like he's thing. wearing. He, is that a? His, it's a pristine like a... ship. Where are they? Also, his mask doesn't have those weird red lines on it. Is this like a dream or something? Um, I'm betting it is. Everything looks too clean and pretty. It it does look like... It reminds me of a Cloud City. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my so God. They're, on top, they're on top of them. They are literally riding on top of the... But if you look Hold below, up. we've got I'm some a, clouds. Yeah, but I, I gotta imagine that when you're that high up, it's still probably a little hard to breathe. They really this. are riding on these horses across the... Could, could you imagine if the I'm really versus... curious what the context is that this was necessary. <laughs> we have to for, we have to ride across the top of a Star Destroyer, but running isn't fast enough. We need 
Uh, we need cavalry. And they were also, actually available. Like, these these cavalry were available. Well, they were around. What, what if a what if a guy in the star destroyer saw them and like, hey, so just tilt the ship like forty five degrees? <laughs> 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 it's like, oh, I guess that's it's the fine. That, they though. didn't notice. Okay. Oh, oh my god, oh, it's, it's, it's gotta be a vision. It's a force vision from space land, and it's not real, and it's metaphorical. It looks very dreamlike, but yeah. Oh no. The force will be with you. Always. Okay. The, fucking, the fucking title, dude. That still gets to me. It's like, what the hell are you doing? Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. They're gone. You, you saw to that. that. Oh, you saw to that. His character and his physical presence. <laughs> Cavalry Stop. on a Star Destroyer. Explosions. Fuck it, just yeah. look, they're in the throne room now. Remember the throne room? Remember that scene? Remember how good it was? We can't We can't just let that be a thing. We gotta squeeze ourselves into the fucking throne room that got blowed up I'm curious in space. what all the context will be for all of this. This is the thing, we talked about how, like, you need to use so much work to fix what came before. It looks like they're just going ahead. It, fuck it, it just makes some, makes some new problems. Imagine making, like, episode 10. Being that guy, like no, 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 no. Rise of Skywalker. Is she gonna be a Skywalker? Is that the the assumption? They can't keep going back and forth. Does her lineage matter or doesn't it matter? You can't keep going back and forth. You have to make up your mind at some point. Whole fucking trilogy has been about is does she does her lineage matter? <laughs> That's all it's been. Well, that well, I think the main reason why it's been that is because people are like, well, what's the explanation for why she's so good at everything? Surely there's like a reason. Why, why, you know, why, just why, just, just give us something to latch onto, and we haven't got it, and I'm guessing that maybe they're gonna give it to us now, but it's too late, because it's the end, and there's the stuff we needed at the beginning. It's kind of and man, like... what a bummer it would be if that was actually the case, is like, the only reason you're good at stuff is because you were just, you had the genes for it, I guess. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. about working, or earning, and it wasn't about any of that, it was just, man, you just, you just won the gene lottery. Yeah. I like how people have been Maybe. following, like, Babbitt don't care about Star Wars. This is the last thing now before the actual movie. We did the teaser trailer, the special look, the final trailer, and now nothing left. You're not kidding about itself. the beating you over the head with the nostalgia keys, as it were. You know, like, at this point, the nostalgia keys are not, they're not even like nostalgia knuckle busters. It's like, it's not even a nostalgia baseball bat. It's like a nostalgia semi -tra trailer. Just running you over constantly. Just like, remember? Remember? Remember these well, things you like? Remember? I remember what it was like to be so fucking immature that if I saw more of a thing, I assumed, oh, this is bigger and better. Like, and that's something I feel like I grew out of when I was like eight. Like, there are things that matter more than just it being bigger or, or more or blastier mm -hmm. or. And I just like, I think back to those fucking Star Destroyers and I'm like, JJ, buddy. Why do you have, like, a bazillion of them? control VM. <laughs> You're like, where the hell did these come from? Where were they? Why? What? What? Yeah, I don't... What, what's, what's your goal here with all thousand Star Destroyers and very close... I mean, you know that there's going to be some sort of, like, chain explosion that just blows them all up all at once. Oh, and God. Yeah, one fucking fly. rocket yeah. will destroy the whole fleet. Yeah, I, I can already imagine the, the shots in my mind and the We've way that it's cut together. The the tism tism to in order to press the button and activate the d d down power will destroy all of them. Like yep. the tism cannon, but we've only got one shot. You gotta got make shot. it count. We gotta got get shot. across the star destroyer with our army of. We'll care. Oh, horses. but it only fires if it has this magic trigger. But we can get it to you in our space horses. And then we'll probably have like a character that's new to this film, and then they're like, "Oh no, the only way we can do this is someone dies. <laughs> Why not just throw every generic thing we can imagine in here? I, I don't care. It, what is it like a two and a half hour film? We we could probably fit that in. Do it. Probably. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, you got you got time for all the all the standards. Yeah. You know, time to bullshit. ruin everything. <laughs> you could have made a trilogy. Like if you were gonna make a trilogy, you could have made something really cool. You could have made something really interesting and new that wasn't like anything that came before without ruining everything that came before and and you didn't <laughs> you didn't not only you did you not add anything new you destroyed you everything that yeah. <laughs>
Like, what they did to Star Wars is probably one of the bigger reasons why people have lost respect for Disney, but there's a bunch of other shit going on, too. It's, um, that's the rise of yes. Malarkey Chapter 12 or whatever is Coming happening. Coming to theaters actually, like, two months from now. So, uh, oh, yeah. It's still another two months. Everyone. It feels like I just want to rip the band-aid off already yeah, yeah. and just have and, it come out. You know, there's, there's still bad things, likely bad things, incoming, like Terminator. That's Ooh. coming out in like a week. That's still on the horizon. I'll be fine. I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll be I'll be fine. fine. <laughs> have you seen those reviews? There's people who are like, oh my god, it's the Force Awakens of the Terminator franchise. It brings the old and the new together in a wonderful. It's like, stop. No, first oh. off, terrible analogy, Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't, I don't believe it when they say that. You know, oh, it comes together in a wonderful way. It's like, it's yeah, you haven't told me anything. Great. It's all everything's great. wonderful. Everything's just, wonderful. Just consume. Just consume product. And the second those credits just hit, get hyped product. for next product. Well, if you hated I mean, that, do, then you'll really love this. Where do they go from here anyway? Like, once this is done, how do you follow this up? Like, with anything. I think they're actually going to, you know, engage in making brand new stuff for Star Wars, which, <laughs> I mean, good lord. Let's, oh, you uh, and let's your thoughts. Goes. We have finished the Skywalker uh, saga, yes, but now it's time for the Solo saga. The, 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 no, 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 the no. Ray, the Ray saga. The Poe saga. All the fucking this. saga of... I can't believe Solo Euro. killed the fact that we were going to get a yearly Star Wars film. Like... Possibly even yeah, the one that. That, that wasn't even really the worst one. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just it's the one that good, but, they've yeah. never had a flop before with Star Wars. That must have been so shocking in the boardroom. Like, so we made <laughs> yeah. a, we did it, guys. We made a Star Wars movie that fucking lost money. Not even yeah, did we... poorly. Not even did less than expected. Cost us money. All of that work, and it cost us money. We had a sure thing. We bought a sure thing, and in three years, it only took us three years. Like, can you imagine? Like they found a well, way can, to break happens. our money printing machine. Yeah, they just poured fucking water all over the machine. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> As the sparks come up, it's like, no, wait, no, hold on, stop it, no. Like, who did no, that? It's like, it. Ryan, why would you do that? And then JJ's like, I'll fix it. He starts hitting it with a hammer. Just like, I'm fixing yeah, it, I'm fixing it. I didn't expect that. <laughs> And then, you know, whenever D&D &D make their trilogy, they're just like, oh. alright, you know, let's just throw out the machine. Let's let's try and make a new one. We'll make a new machine. Like, Does anybody have a blueprint? Does anybody have a blueprint for this? No? Has anybody ever made this machine before? No, but... No. You're supposed to be like, um, George, help us make it again. He just laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> I wonder how he feels about everything. I can't imagine he's, he's very He's probably double-edged for Lucas. He's probably going... They killed my baby, but at the same time, they made my last babies look even better. Yeah, they like, retroactively they never... made my things look good. Oh, like, yeah, really pe good. People are begging for me to come back. He's, he's made it clear that he's had lots of hate mail in the past. I guarantee you he's had some love mail in the past, like, fucking, well, four years. <laughs> like, there's probably people who are like, uh, I just people you. apologizing. Just yeah. like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we should have listened. We should have listened. Like the, the, the prequels, the prequels are not strong. They got a lot of problems, but compared to this, I would much rather have another prequel trilogy than oh, this. Yeah. yeah, same. Not even close. I would downright be no, like, all was... right, let's see if you know, let's see where we are now. Like, let's see what George's ideas are. Let's see. Uh, you know, I'll give it a good shot. This. Uh... That's the thing with Disney as well. Any more movies that come out, we've got this sour taste. It's not like it's passed on to different creators. It's always going to be that sense of the mouse looming over this fucking franchise. The mouse. The Mickey mouse. mouse is Palpatine all along. <laughs> this is the end of his three act, you know, plan for world domination. Could you imagine everything if, you if, if, like, Emperor Palpatine... Instead of Emperor Palpatine, it was Mickey Mouse as the bad guy. Yeah. He's just like, oh, oh, me oh, 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 I will destroy you! Oh, oh. And then zaps them. You thought Goodbye. you could kill me? I'm a <laughs> child. <laughs> they're like, but you're copyright. Surely it's about to run out. And he's like, <laughs> I am copyright. <laughs> <laughs> I am copyright. <laughs>